Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. If you are using the default weather app that comes bundled with Windows 10 and Windows 11, just to let you know that if you were unaware that Microsoft has started rolling out a redesigned weather app for Windows 10 and Windows 11, which is currently on a controlled rollout, and as you can see, I haven't received yet in my region. And if you are not seeing the redesigned weather app as yet, I'm sure that we will be getting it over the next coming days and or weeks. And this is what uh, the so-called old weather app looks like. And just to do a quick comparison, this is a screenshot of what the new visually redesigned weather app and the layout will look like when it gets to your region if you are using the app. And just to show you what the old one looks like, and that's the new one. So you can see a complete visual redesign and overhaul to the layout of the new weather app which um, will obviously be an update to your existing weather app when it gets to your region or uh, you can download the weather app from the Microsoft Store for Windows 10 and Windows 11 which as mentioned is on a controlled rollout so even if you do download it from the store you might not see the new layout as yet. Now um, the new weather app uh, is been bumped up to version 4.53.5109 and newer so that's the version you need to be on to see this new layout and visual redesign and in case you hadn't noticed this new weather app that microsoft is now starting to roll out is basically an exact duplicate of the online version of microsoft weather so if we head over to microsoft start yeah you can see this is what the web version of uh, the weather app looks like and as mentioned, basically an exact an exact copy of what the online version looks like. So obviously Microsoft are trying to um, just collate the way the weather app looks across the different platforms and services. Now um, I'm just going to use the online version because basically it is an exact copy. And just to go through some of the so-called key highlights. Now, yeah, we can see um, the homepage has received a uh, visual redesign and you also get if we head back to the image you get tabs here uh, new tabs in the left hand menu which um, apparently have recommendations um, new recommendations on each of those pages and just heading back to the online version um, here we get our um, current weather we get our 10 day forecast which has received a bit of a more modern look and feel compared to how it used to look like we get our summary with our hourly forecast and our more details. Uh, here is a new um, section, suggestions for your day, which may be of use and benefit uh, for some users using um, Microsoft Weather. Um, it tells if you need an umbrella or not. No need in my case. Outdoors is good. Clothing, I need to wear breathable clothing according to this suggestion. And the UV index is low. And yeah, you can click on see more to get more suggestions. And over and above that, um, if you do scroll down, uh, you'll also see the MSN newsfeed, which um, isn't bringing you, you know, your normal news you would see. It's just news pertaining to your weather, which may be of use and benefit. Uh, if you are using the app, just getting some news stories regarding um, weather news. And over and above that, as mentioned, um, looks completely different to how the app currently looks. Now, you will have noticed, yeah, to the right-hand side, that in the web version of the weather, we get this ad. Now, if we head back to the screenshot of what the new app is going to look like, we see that the same section to the right-hand side has been left blank at this stage. So um, this seems that Microsoft is going to be pushing out the same ads to the homepage, the homepage of the weather app um, when they do start rolling this out and when it does get to your region. So just another way where it seems now that Microsoft has found another loophole where they can push ads out to their different products and services. But nonetheless, um, when it just comes to the actual visual layout and redesign, I actually think that um, the new layout looks, you know, quite nice. Um, and as I would say, is a nice move in the right direction compared to how it used to look um, in the so-called old weather app. So um, the weather app, um, as mentioned, if you're not seeing it in your region, could be rolling out over the next coming days and or weeks. And just keep checking for updates to the weather app because um, the weather app will then be updated to that latest version, version 4.53.5109 or any newer version. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.